Hi, I wanted to share a problem with you and, and talk to you about how to solve it. Now, um, of course, sometimes symptoms um, can be related to more than one type of problem. So this is going to be specific to this type of problem. But um, I just finished printing this part and I noticed now for some reason, most of the part turned out just fine. Uh, there seems to be some kind of strange wobble there, but it doesn't really affect the quality of the part. Um, but uh, where there's a real problem is right here at the top. It's kind of hard to see, but um, see how it started to really wobble when it got to the top section of this part? You can really see it right here and right here. You can see where um, it's, uh, it's look really looks like the hot ends just started to wobble when it got to the top section. And um, I believe that's exactly what has happened here. Uh, you can get a pretty good look of it right there. It's almost like it uh, started to um, shift around. So, I mean, this is this is destroyed. Not really usable at all. It's kind of funny. It looks like somebody just stacked a bunch of layers by hand. If you look at it real closely. But uh, anyway, pretty bad. So... Now, what I believe happened with that part is the hot end actually did wobble. And I went to investigate the hot end, and I did notice that it was actually wobbling. Now, you want to make sure that you don't touch this when it's hot. But um, just grabbed it, and I noticed that I could wiggle it around. Even though it was mounted to the, uh, to the extruder, it was still wiggling around. So... To fix this, now, uh, by default, these things are designed to take a uh, three millimeter bolt and um, two three millimeter bolts go through here, which passes through the, the ridges on the hot end here and holds it in place. Now, that, that actually does work great. It keeps the hot end from, from being pushed out by the filament, but um, the three millimeter Three millimeter bolts are just a little too small and it leaves for a little bit of wobble. The only problem is that the four millimeter bolts are actually a little too big, but they work really, really good. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the hot end out. I already, um, you know, removed the, the bolts. Let me finish taking this one out here. And then I'm going to use a drill press with a three millimeter or four millimeter drill bit. This is going to be difficult to do with, uh, with one hand. And I already put the four millimeter drill bit on the drill press. So let me go ahead and line it up here. Okay, I've got it lined up pretty good and I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it a little bit. But, um, okay, let's uh, go and turn it on. Got chewed up a little bit. It looks like it didn't go all the way through. I'm gonna have to actually do this by hand, so I'm gonna drop the plate. Just go ahead and jam that through. Oh, perfect. <laughs> all right. Let's do the other one. I hit the hole on the other side, right? Perfect. All right. I'm going to clean it out the other way. This did uh, actually melt the plastic a little bit, so I'm going to have to go in there and clean it up a little bit. And I'll actually take like a little knife or exacto or something to clean that out a little bit better, but uh, that should work just fine. So next, what we do is put the hot end back in. Okay, that's back into place. And then use a four millimeter bolt to drive through. And now when the, when the, when the four millimeter bolt goes in, it's gonna go in, it's not gonna go in very easy because it's, doesn't, it's not gonna fit between the grooves very well. 
Here, let me pull this back out and see if I can show you. Okay, it will fit between the grooves, but um, the distance apart this way isn't going to be quite right. Um, so they're really going to hold on to the hot end when they're in there. But just use a screwdriver and drive it, drive it all the way through, and it should hold it on really, really well. Um, really, the this the um, the extruder could probably use a bit of a redesign, perhaps, so that you can actually intentionally use the four millimeters. I didn't realize they actually fit into the groove just fine. I guess the problem that I've always noticed is that um, it's the four millimeter bolts bolts are too close together this way, so they're like going around and they want to do a V around the hot end instead of going straight through. So this could probably use a bit of a redesign, but this hack works great. I recommend it if you're having troubles with uh, with any wobble on your uh, on your hot end. So once I drive this through, I'll drive in another one, put a nut on the other side, and then I'll reassemble it, put it back on the printer, it should be as good as new. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope this helps. All right. So I just wanted to show you real quick, I did get the um, the bolts, the 4mm bolts locked in, I can't really see them, and, um, and I just did a wobble test and it is on there so tight that it just makes the whole, it moves with the whole machine now, <laughs> it is totally solid. So I highly recommend this. You know, if you're using three millimeter bolts and you haven't noticed any wobble issues, um, maybe maybe you don't need to worry about it. But um, you know, I actually did run this printer now for uh, a, about four months um, since I originally built it, and so it ran just fine with those with those three millimeter bolts. And a lot of the a lot of the prints that I got from this machine turned out really great. But um, just recently, I guess that wobble just got so bad that it was starting to become noticeable. But I shouldn't have any more wobble at all now. So now I just need to uh, recalibrate for the bed height. And um, I should be up and operational. So again, I hope this does help if, if you've been noticing any problems like the one I showed you. And, um, you know, send me, send me a message. Uh, let me know if... You know, if you have a particular problem that uh, maybe I might be able to help with. I have experienced a lot of issues. I haven't made videos on everything that I've seen, and I kind of wish that I had had. But um, from now on, when I when I go forth and fix a problem, I am going to be diligent and record a video just just in case it might actually help somebody else. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.